Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Claire and this is Yoli. And I'm literally so, so excited about today's video. I'm gonna be showing you a full kind of tour setup of my new grow light shelving unit and all my plants I've got in there. I say that it hasn't actually been, oh hello, hasn't actually been built yet. So I'm gonna show you a start to finish process of putting it all together. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'm here today with one of my best friends, JB, who's going to be Hi. building me a custom grow light shelving unit. His work is absolutely amazing. I'll pop some pictures in and yeah, he's very talented. So I'm very excited to see what he comes up with. I've been wanting to get a new grow shelf with a light set up for absolutely ages, especially now the weather's so dark and horrible. I've had to move so many of my bigger plants upstairs to a different room where there's more light. So I'm really excited that at the end of this, I'll be able to have them back down with me. So let's get started. Well, you, not yes, me. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> I was very kindly sent this plant spectrum grow bar from an awesome company called Mother. I've been testing it out and honestly, hand on heart, it is the best grow light I've ever used. So this is what it looks like. I've had quite a few grow lights over the years and honestly cannot recommend this one highly enough. It's full spectrum LED. It's just, I don't know, it just looks so sleek and modern and minimal. Not like your average grow light. Mother, the company that they came from, do both upright and horizontal mounts. But yeah, JB is literally going to be building this unit specifically around these ones. I'll tell you more about them when the unit's all built, but if you fancy getting one of your own, then you can use my discount code JUNGLEHAVEN on their website. I'll pop all the details in the description box below. If you want to see a step-by-step -step of exactly how JP's doing this, then he's just started a YouTube channel too, so head over there. This is also his very first YouTube video, so go and subscribe. Now I'm gonna unclamp this and then I'm gonna show you the final product. Yay! If the clamp's coming up, there you go. <laughs> oh, Yoli wants to see what you're doing. The floor has been swept, there's no nails or anything. Oh my god, that looks awesome. I've been trying to decide whether or not I want to keep the lovely woody look of it or if I want to go ahead and paint it. And I think just because I've got so much darker wood already in my room and my room is quite dark already and I don't want it to feel cramped. I think I'm gonna paint it white just because I think it will brighten it up a bit. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's the next day now and the unit's been primed and painted and it's looking absolutely amazing. So we're gonna drive back to mine, put it up and fill it with plants. I know that I'm very low down, but I just wanted to make sure that it was on display because it is so perfect. Honestly, I am absolutely over the moon with it. I'm just beaming right now. I'm so, so, so happy. Maybe I'll stand on my tiptoes. There we go, that's better. Um, yes, so very quickly before I put all my plants on there and give you a tour of it, I just really quickly wanted to say a little bit more about Mother, the company that the grow light came from. The first thing that I absolutely love is the light they produce just looks so natural, like it looks like sunlight. I don't know if you can really tell on camera because it just looks very kind of like bright and burnt out. But for example, if you look at these grow lights here, which I've showed you before in other videos, they're also full spectrum, but they just don't produce the same kind of 
natural, lovely light. The way that mothers develop them. <laughs> I sound like I'm really formally talking about my mum. Mother, the grow light company, has developed them. It means that they're absolutely perfect for all stages of plant growth. You can germinate seeds under them or they're perfect as well for bigger, more mature plants. As I say, I'll pop my discount code and some more information about them in the description box below. But yes, I honestly cannot rave about them enough. Now it's time to add the plants. So this is what it is looking like at the moment. I feel like I might have a bit of a rearrange, but for now, I'll take you through each one and I'll let you know why why I've put them where I've put them. I think maybe I'm just a bit overexcited and I've just been like, let's put them all in. But um, so basically I'm thinking that, oh, I just walked into my tripod. In time, I might actually put some kind of smaller propagations along the top and maybe the kind of medium sized plants that I've got along there at the moment, move them to the bottom shelf because I know I've kind of crowded that in. And I also know that all of the plants I've got in the bottom shelf at the moment will have to be turned a lot because obviously they're only receiving a little bit of light and towards the back, they're not receiving that much. But I've got my caladium here and that's a fairly, I mean, it's kind of medium to low light. It can cope in bright and direct light as well. So I feel like this light will be quite good for it. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful plant and I love it. And it's one that I just haven't been able to have down here with me. I've got my humidifier. Oh God, this is smudgy. I've got my little humidifier down here as well. My big ones upstairs, but yeah, they love humidity. And I feel like she'll do pretty well down here. This one is my Philodendron Brantianum. And <laughs> so basically when I got it, it had obviously been chopped to be propagated and you can see Oh, it's a weird little leaf, but it's got a teeny little new grow point and that, oh, let it focus. That little leaf is the start of the new plant, the new plant, the plant kind of branching out a little bit more. So I'm very excited about that. But yeah, that's one of my favorite plants. And again, was absolutely desperate to have it done with me. So very happy about that. This one I've showed you recently, just a Syngonium Albo cutting, but again, such a beautiful cutting, doesn't need crazy highlights, but bright and direct lights so again, this is gonna be perfect. Uh, this is my Anthurian Clement, <laughs> find my words. I'm just very overexcited today, if you haven't realized. It's also been a long few days trying to get everything sorted and planned. But this is my Anthurium Clarinervium. Uh, again, this one is now starting to bounce back. She's given me this beautiful, beautiful new leaf recently. This was one that was really badly affected by thrips that I told you about, you can see like look there you can just see the back of the leaves where the thrip damage has been but she's all fine now she's all clear but i just want to make sure she's in good conditions but as i say with that one again obviously you can see some of her leaves are kind of pressed up against the back i don't actually know if this is the best spot for her to be honest but i thought i'd put her in here now because she looks gorgeous and I will just have to turn her very, very regularly. I might actually move, because I've got this shelf here. Oh, I also took that one out, but I'll tell you that in a minute. I've got this shelf down here, and I have got a window on the other side of my room, so I might move her down here. I'm not sure about that yet, but that is what I'm doing for now. This is what I've done for the late night grow shelf setup. It's very, very late at the moment, and I'm hoping to get this video edited and up tonight. So that's what I've done for now. Here is my Alocasia Silver Dragon, who has grown so much recently. Like I got her not that long ago in my House of Kojo order and she was teeny tiny. I have repotted her. She's got this new leaf and as you can see, it has got some damage on it. It wasn't anything to do with like pests or anything like that. I think it was just literally natural damage um, as the leaf unfurled, like something just kind of tore, maybe she didn't have good enough humidity, I don't know, but yeah, she's still doing well. And there is another kind of budding bit down here. So I think she's gonna pop out another new leaf soon, which is good and very exciting. Moving on, this is one of my favorite plants at the moment, I've got to say, this is a Philodendron Ernestii. And I just think those leaves are so stunning, honestly. Again, another new one unfurling here. It's just such a beautiful plant. Again, it just doesn't really look real. It looks like a painting. It's so beautiful. I love the, yeah, the kind of just like stripes across the leaves. It's stunning. Again, she's got another, whoop. 
to another one here. But yeah, as I say, all of these on the bottom shelf, especially I'm gonna have to turn fairly regularly because they're not getting as good a light as the ones up here. But yeah, so that is currently my bottom shelf. But as I say, I think I'm probably gonna make my bottom shelf, which is obviously slightly bigger, more of these size plants and then use the top shelf for propagations and stuff like that. But for now, this is where we're at. Moving on up. This is my string of pearls who, I mean, such a highlight plant will obviously do very, very well under here. Um, she's gone slightly dormant recently. She pops out these, oh, you can't really see. Yeah, you can, but these kind of two bits that I thought were gonna flower. And it's quite unusual at this time of year that she's done that. And I kind of thought, oh, she's probably craving a bit more light. So this will be perfect for her. And it'll be lovely watching her just kind of trailing down eventually when they all grow. Um, but yes, Alocasia Black Velvet, again, a fairly highlight plant. This is kind of just standard bright and direct light. And I mean, this is one that I have been absolutely longing, along with this next one, all of them, but these two have been up on my list to have down with me because I just absolutely adore them. This one is just so gorgeous and the leaves just feel, I know you're not meant to stroke them all the time, but I can't really, can't really help myself just so beautiful and I think she'll be really happy in that spot. Again, the whole plant is receiving a really good amount of light there. So I think she's gonna do very well. She has also got a new grow point too, growth point. So I think that will be fab for her. This one, I'm gonna take her down because she's special, is my Anthurium vicii. This is one that I got fairly recently and I showed you in my repot and chat video. Such a special, special plant, so gorgeous. And also, if you did see my repot and chat video, oh, that's hurting my arm, then just look at the leaf that I showed you that was absolutely tiny. Look at how big it's got. This is what I was saying before about anthuriums. I love how with, mo like with most plants, they'll get a new leaf. Like for example, the Brentianum here, that leaf will probably be around about that size forever, even if, even as it kind of hardens off and matures. Whereas with anthuriums, their leaves will start absolutely tiny and they will just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that one there will probably end up about this size. So yeah, she's doing, I say she, it's a king plant, isn't it? But she, he is doing very, very, very well. And I just am so in love with this plant. This is the one that I spend the most time staring at and just in awe of. I just can't believe I own this plant. Like, I'm gonna stop banging on about it now, but this is the plant that I wanted for such a long time. I'm talking like years and years and years and never got, and now I have him, her, and I'm very, very happy. So yes, that is one that I'm gonna try not to drop as I put back. There we go. Yeah, I will keep you updated with that one and the new leaf. Um, this is my Pilia pebromioides, which I love, pancake plant. I think, again, doesn't need ridiculously high light, but I think that's gonna be a fairly good spot for it. Again, it's not that, it's not a brand new plant. I was sent that by a lovely garden center that featured me in an article of theirs and then said that they'd like to send me a plant to say thank you. And I was like, okay. I would like this one, please. I can't remember off the top of my head the name of the garden centre, but I'll put the name in. Sorry, my brain's like a sieve tonight because I'm really tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is that one. And then finally up here, I've got my Caladium lindii, lindenii, sorry. Um, and this one hasn't been doing great, to be completely honest. I'm gonna show you, again, need to put her down. This leaf here, I think it is partly due to lack of light but you can see that's really, I actually need to chop that area back, browning and kind of yellowing. This came with a hole, which is weird. I think again, probably natural damage and it's obviously been chopped back, but um, yeah, that's not in the greatest state at the moment. So I'm hoping a bit more bright and direct light from the grow lights will sort her out. Um, but yes, oh, I feel like I've just trapped her leaf under the pot actually. There we go. But yeah, I'm just, oh, I don't know. These This last day and a half has been an absolute blur trying to get this all done and also sorting out JB's first video, which has obviously been this project of the Grow Light Shelf. And I just, <laughs> I just am totally in awe of it because it's just all come together 
so, so quickly, but I didn't really know what to expect. And I just, as I say, um, totally, totally over the moon with it. I couldn't have asked for more. I can't believe that this is mine and the grow light as well. Like I now I keep banging on about it, but honestly, it is just fantastic. And that doesn't that like it doesn't look like a grow light. It looks like a show light. So yeah, I'm very very happy. Um, I'm actually looking at it again now, and I'm thinking, yeah, that does look a bit overcrowded, Claire. What have you done? You haven't really thought about this. But what I'll do is I will probably have a rearrange at some point soon, and I'll give you an update. And yeah, I'll I'll keep you updated. I'm so, so happy with the setup and I really hope that you enjoyed watching it all come together. If you want to see more videos like this where I kind of do a whole process thing, I'm not taking credit for any of this, this was all JB, but if you want to see more videos like this then please let me know in the comments and I will definitely do them because this has been so much fun. If you did like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, have a lovely day and I will see you in the next video.